Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about why the Zendikar, why it's bad that for battle to Zendikar, battle for Zendikar, there is no fetch lands. That is very, very bad because as we're going to see right now, the fetch lands, especially this particular fetch land, will probably hit over a hundred bucks. It's $82 now low, $85 median. But remember, Battle for Zendikar is about four months away, maybe less, but the price should continue to go up and up and up. Now, what does that mean for this particular land? Well, let's take a look at what the price is. So the lowest price you can get is $82.45 for lightly played. Yeah, that's not a great price for this card. If we go ahead and look at Misty Rainforest, so the prices here are probably not, yeah, Misty Rainforest used to be $40, but now it's about at least $52. And we haven't seen the half of it. Essentially, what's going to continue to happen, and this is pretty obvious why, until these lands get reprinted, they are safe from reprint. Because the place where they would be reprinted would be Zendikar. But they're not in Zendikar, which means very many catacombs. I mean, look at the price of these things. Uh, this one's pretty cheap. Arid Mesa is the cheapest of the bunch, but let's look at catacombs. Jund is a popular deck type, deck type, and we're at $61. The price of these lands will continue to go up. Obviously, it will go down a little bit from the initial spike, but because there's no foreseeable reprints, it means these cards are going to be speculated heavily on. They are a good place where a lot of people are going to put their their valuable modern cards, modern assets into. So essentially, once modern season's over, they're going to trade for these and then spike its price even more. So I don't know what to tell you except that I don't understand why Wizards of the Coast chose not to reprint it. I felt like such there were such high expectations that it would be reprinted in Battle for Zendikar that having it not be in Battle for Zendikar will do all types of crazy stuff for this particular set of cards. Which, you know, I, I felt like the $100 Fetch Land days were over. It might just be beginning and that's in my opinion, quite sad. Um, it is very sad.